Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Walking. I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Today, we're gonna be talking about the SSR ticket because I've already made my choice, as you can see here. I ended up going with uh, Tamamo, so I wanted to kind of use her and also in general talk about the ticket in case uh, there's anyone else there who's still kind of curious about it, then I'll gladly tell you about it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Hope you like it. If you do, remember to leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe, and do that. All right, so let's get going first. If you're brand new to the game, how do you get the ticket? It's very easy. It's literally right here. Just finish the first singularity and you'll get the ticket. Then you can exchange it from, I believe it is right here. No, it is not right here. It's in the shop. Exchange event. This is ended for me because I already picked one. You pick one, and then from there, all you need to do is ascend it once and get to bond five, which should be easy if you are using them. Uh, for example, here's what I have for mine right now. I ended up going with Tamamo. As you can see, it says right there, temporary. If you're wondering how come I didn't get the summon screen, you will get it once the unit is no longer temporary. So once they get to bomb five and they're no longer temporary, you'll get the message basically. Um, and yeah, this is my Tamamo. She's fully built out at this point. I still need to do her strengthenings and stuff, but she has the 1,000... No, she doesn't have the 1,000 foot, but it's fine. She's a support. She has level 10 skills. She's level 90. She's basically good to go. She's NP1. This is the unit I chose. The reason why is because she's the only one of the supports. I've been missing an art supporter for a very long time, so I figured why not get her before Castoria comes in, because when I fail to get Castoria, I will have a backup plan for that specific thing in place. Um, and if you're wondering how Castoria gonna... Not Castoria. If you want to know how Tamamo goes... This is kind of how you would use her in most modern day instances. I have a lot of actual teams that I can finally use now because I have a Tamamo. The only thing the only thing that was stopping me from using them was the fact that I didn't have Tamamo. So now that I have her, it's going to be much easier. So, yeah, here's one of the setups, by the way, which is a setup I've been wanting to use for a very long time. And this is actually a setup I used with Waver, um, which is, here it is, Mo. Summer Mo. Summer Mo, who, by the way, has always been known for having amazing looping skills. Uh, that did not change. The only thing that changes now is that she has much more attack, and so I don't have to go with waivers 50% to give her what she needs. So, just to show off what she does right here, she'll come in and say, here's the big Wednesday. Boom, and she'll always get 100% NP return. That's just how this unit's kind of built. Uh, but that's also in general how arts farming kind of goes, is that their NP usually stays at 100%. For this one, I will say that she is also getting a little bit of an assistance from the Magical Girl Sapphire, which gives NP gain up by 25%, and this Nero one, I believe, gives 30%, so she's getting 45% NP gain, which means that she has no trouble getting a bunch of NP. Uh, that includes the fact that she gives herself some NP gain as well. So, yeah. It's a super easy setup once you have Tamamo. I mean, I'm also saying as someone who's using Bride Nero, but... Like, I didn't even have to really think about the Bride, the, the friend support. The only friend support I care about is the one that gives me, um... The Da Vinci, um... QP thing. And funny enough, I actually do need a little bit of QP now. I used to have 500 million. But after doing everything I'd done with Tamamo, I think I'm down to like 300 million or so. Uh, those level 10 skills cost a whole bunch, let me tell you. So there we go. Paladin 2 Briding. Completely washed, completely devastated here on this one. Feels nice to have, finally. Feels nice to finally have a art support. It's funny enough, though, that it's right on the cusp of the better one being released. But it's fine because they both can be run in the same team, so it doesn't matter all that much. I'm also going to use my golden fruit. It's fine. It's not the best time to use it, but I'm going to use it now because otherwise the video would just end. <laughs> so <laughs> going to keep on using it. Cold hot dog. See, it doesn't even matter what they're using. I can put up literally anything. Uh, let's see here. Go here. This is pretty nice. You could probably actually go double Tamamo support. So the reason I picked Tamamo is because she has the 50% on her art um, skill. And the other thing that's actually kind of nice about her is that even though it does get a strengthening, all it does is add a healing, which is actually fantastic. The one I actually want to do the strengthening of is this one, because this gives three um, turns of NP uh, attack up, which would be nice to have. Um... 
But I plan to do it eventually, somewhere down the line. I actually wonder what happens if you do those strength things. Actually, I think some of those strength things are tied to bond points, so I doubt that you'd be able to do them without having your tumble be at least bond five. But it would be funny if you actually did them because it didn't require bond five, and then you gotta <laughs> take them away. <laughs> what happens then if you lose your tumble? Huh. I think the thing that would likely happen is. Um, it would still count, and then you just kind of have to wait for when the unit comes back whenever you legitimately pull or something. Hmm. But yeah, always remember to actually finish, to do the, the Bond 5 and to do the first ascension. It's super easy. Literally everyone should be able to do it, because the first ascension only requires, like, the very base material of things for. So unless you picked, um, Moon Cancer, which I think uses different things, um, it should be really easy to just ascend it once. And then getting Bond 5 is, like I said, super easy. Um, you will get it just by simply using the unit. Unless you're someone who's just, like, super low rank. But you also have, like, a month to get from the Bond 5. So by then, you should be playing enough to completely get it. If you're not, then I think then... It's a really weird edge case where the person who plays for Go has a, over a month to get their unit to where they need it to be. Uh, bond 5 and they're unable to do it like it feels weird like I the mine is already bond 2 or 3 and I'm dumb I always instinctively look this way there we go gold hot dog um, I always instinctively do something I forgot what I was gonna say I got completely distracted by what I was trying to say um, either way should be easy let me see I think mine's at I can actually check it after I finish this Okay. There's another thing that I, since I've been using Tomo, I've never actually had to listen to what, um, I don't play the game with sound on, typically, uh, which is, I think, sacrilege to a lot of players, because usually during story bits, they like playing a song, um, I usually don't hear what the song says at all, I've never been able to hear what the song says at all, so... But it also means that very rarely, unless I'm recording a video, I don't get to hear what the character says. And I've never heard Tamamo taking damage before <laughs> until I started recording. Uh, until I started playing uh, off screen with the OBS just to kind of test some stuff out. And I actually got to hear her taking damage and she makes a really funny sound. I'm going to play it before it finishes it off here. I think we're going to finish it here because I've basically done what I wanted to show here with the weekend. I'm just really nice to be able to do this. I can't wait for when Castoria comes out, and it's just going to be easier to deal with multiple characters. And she's this is not the only arts character that I can probably do this with currently, because there's plenty of arts characters that can do this, and um, they can do it with before the Castoria. They were able to do it with just two Tomomos, and I think it's very impressive to be able to do that. Um, Mo is one of them. I think the other one is Theon. Theon can definitely do it. And I think... Uh, space Ish Star can do it as well. So, I'm taking it down here. We'll see my bond amount right around here. I think it's three at least. No, it's three. There you go. And I only got her yesterday, so. Let's go. Just two more and then it'll be permanent. So, let me go in here real quick. I forgot I have to actually go into the unit. Um, I wonder if it's actually locked the voice lines. So let me see if I can play it. And this will, will take it out. Is it? I don't think it's that either, but... Uh, I think it might actually be this one. This one's funnier because it just happens very quickly if you keep getting hurt. I don't even think that what she's saying doesn't translate very well into what the text says. It's, the text is like, Nuh. It actually kind of sounds like she's saying, fuck you. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Some of the extra damage lines are pretty funny. The idea of, hey, stop hitting me, please. It hurts. Uh, that's it for today's video. I at least wanted to show it off. So that's the unit I ended up picking. 
what did you guys end up picking? I think most people are picking Waver, but I'm actually curious to hear about the people who didn't pick Waver, because Waver is usually the go-to choice for a lot of people. And the reason I didn't pick Waver is because, uh, yeah, I already have Waver. Already fully done, fully used. I cannot get my boy any more fully done than this way. He's also four out of five. I could have actually gotten an MP5 Waver if I wanted. <laughs> But I don't want that. I want it to happen randomly on the summon, I guess. I forgot how much Waver likes me. I'm, I'm cursing myself for when Castoria comes out, because that just means I'm going to get nothing but Waivers. Or even worse, Tomomos, now that they have... Oh, no, God. Don't let me think about that. Anyway, that's the end of the video for now, everyone. I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have a good night. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.